Hi, it's Rob Moore here. I have six things that I feel are essential to balance for business mastery, to merge your passion profession, to scale your business and not go insane and work your ass off until you die. So I think the problem with most advice out there in the world, politics, personal development, you know, life in general is everything's extreme. You're told to work hard, 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 hard. Um, you know, or you're told that this is the right way and this is the wrong way. Whereas my experience is that reality is this a dichotomy, a, a balance, a, an irony of neither extreme uh, is required too much or too little or both extreme is required in balance. So let me tell you six things which I think um, if you balance them, you'll get business mastery, life mastery. So the first thing is you need to work hard, but you need to work smart. So it's like work hard, but leverage. You have to work hard enough not to have to work hard. You know, you need to get active income before you can get passive income. Um, if you work too hard, you kill yourself, you, you know, you, you flip out at everybody, you don't see your family, there's a massive cost, attrition. Um, but um, if you just say, oh, everyone's going to do everything for me, I'm never going to do any work, I'm going to be the lazy billionaire, then you're probably not going to get anywhere. So work hard in short, sharp bursts, keeping your energy good, your focus good, and then plan Build your vision, outsource, hire people, you know, create a, an amazing culture and work on things that aren't hard work, but are leverage work that other people could do for you. So do both work hard and smart. Number two, plan, but do. So you need a great plan. You need a great vision. You know, you need to know where you want to go. Put the flag in the ground. But if you don't get off your ass and go and do stuff and try stuff and fail stuff, then you're never going to get anywhere. So really, the art of planning is the ability to plan so then you can go and do. <clears throat> of course, if you do without planning, you can go the wrong way fast. So plan, but also do. It's a good thing to big plan, do, review the plan, make a smaller plan, do, review the plan, do, review the plan, do, and so on. And don't worry if the doing ends up being different to the planning. The point of the planning is to get you started, to give you a direction. It's, it's, it's unlikely ever to be exactly as you perceived it. So, you know, don't, if you don't quite achieve the plan, you know, don't compare yourself to the plan and think you're a failure. Uh, often what you'll do is more different and better than the plan. As long as you make the plan, but then as long as you uh, implement the plan, plan and do. So the next thing is try, but allow yourself to fail. If you don't try, you don't succeed, but you don't succeed unless you fail. So again, that's quite a dichotomy because you don't want to try in case you fail. But if you don't try, you don't succeed. And if you, you need to fail to succeed. So um, try, but allow yourself to fail. It's like succeed and make mistakes. OK, the fourth one is trust, but verify. So trust people, see the good in them, be optimistic, be positive, love, care, give, but verify their claims. Do diligence on them. You know, if you're looking for a business partnership, um, you know, do some um, you know, proper research on them. If you're hiring someone, do phone up their last three employers and ask what they thought of them. And I think it's a great thing to trust people to see, you know, to be the glass half full, but verify the claims, verify uh, the research that you need to make sure that you're making good decisions with good people. Number five uh, is give, but don't be bullied. So be kind, be caring, share, give, but don't be a doormat. Don't let people take the piss out of you. Don't let people beat you up, you know, abuse you, um, you know, in all forms, mentally, physically, spiritually. So, um, you know, be a, a go giver, as they say, and help and share. But if you do that all the time and you don't uh, write invoices and ask for money and look after yourself and pay your own overhead, then you don't have a business. You have a hobby. And in the end, you end up resenting those people that you that you give to and you feel like they're abusing you, but you're allowing them to. So don't be bullied. Stand up for yourself. Every, you know, like if you get some critics, some trolls, some haters, by the way, I hope you do, because if you don't have any, you're not big enough. Uh, now, you know, quite a few times you want to be like, thanks for the feedback. You know, that's good advice. I'll look into that. I'll look to f fix the problem, you know, when they're being a bit of an idiot. Uh, and then other times you need to stand up to them and you need to go, no, you're wrong. Give them a roasting, a public roasting. Out, out them every now and again just to prove to A, them, the world, everyone else that um, you're fair, you're reasonable, but you will not be bullied. And then the final one, which I think is the most important one in business, uh, the, 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 the dichotomy and the balance is sell but care. 
So, yeah, you've got to go and sell stuff. If you don't sell stuff, you don't make any money. There are so many barefoot um, entrepreneurs, you know, ethical business people. Carry, sherry, huggy, kissy, clappy. Let's find a tree. Let's sing Kumbaya and a fire. Let's do good in the world. And they can't sell anything. They want to set up a nice little um, colonic irrigation shop in the middle of nowhere. Uh, wanting to cleanse people's souls. But, they're, you know, they're, they're not business savvy. They're not doing marketing. They're not getting themselves out there. They don't want to ask for money. They're scared to do it. But then on the other extreme, there are people who sell, 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 sell. Sell a dream, sell a Ponzi scheme, sell a scam. And think they can run away from that and keep selling, selling, selling. In the end, the world catches up with them. So... Sell, launch, get your messages out there, make good sales, and then create a bloody great product and then improve it and improve it and care enough about your clients, your customers, to ask them what they want, to to get involved with listening to them and looking to solve their problems. They don't expect you to be perfect and create the perfect product and never fail. They do expect you to care. They do expect you to solve the problems when they come. So embrace both. All right, so work hard but leverage. Plan but get out there and do stuff. Try, fail and make mistakes. Trust but verify. Give but don't be abused and bullied. And sell but care. Thanks for tuning in. Quick entrepreneur podcast, video and audio uh, this time around. Thanks for tuning in. If you don't risk anything, you risk everything.